Hi, I'm Melissa Offner, cancer survivor. I want to learn about what's new and exciting in cancer treatment. So today, I'm talking to BC Cancer's Dr. Ross Halperin. He'll be talking to us about brachytherapy. Dr. Halperin, thank you so much for taking the time to chat today. My pleasure. So I'm super excited to learn about how brachytherapy is improving outcomes for patients. Can you start off by talking to us about what brachytherapy is and what types of cancers it's used to treat? So brachytherapy is a form of radiation treatment. What's special about brachytherapy is the radioactive sources are inserted directly into the tumors deeply seated in the body. Um, brachytherapy is actually the first form of radiation treatment but has evolved greatly since its beginnings and is used very successfully for the treatment of women's womb cancer, so cervical cancer. Brachytherapy has a long track record of great success. More recently it has a great track record of success in prostate cancers and uh, we are also using brachytherapy now developing it for breast cancer. What are the benefits of brachytherapy for a patient as opposed to other types of radiation treatment? Well, there are a number of benefits for brachytherapy. One is that the radioactive sources are placed directly where the tumor is. So the radiation doesn't have to travel through the body to get to the tumor target. That allows us to deliver a lot more radiation treatment safely to the tumor while protecting the body from the harms of radiation treatment in the normal tissues. The other thing that brachytherapy brings as an advantage is the rapidity of treatment. Um, many of our standard radiation treatments from the outside in um, take six to eight weeks of daily treatment Monday through Friday to complete. Brachytherapy is typically completed for a number of cancers in one to four day surgeries. What role do BC Cancer Foundation donors play in advancing research for brachytherapy? Well, the community has a great impact on brachytherapy and other programs, but particularly for brachytherapy. Um, if we look back at the story or the history in Kelowna, the community uh, raised money that allowed us to buy the inaugural equipment that allowed us to start the brachytherapy program. So without the community, we wouldn't have started for many years. So we got a head start, as it were. But that also allowed us to participate in leading edge research earlier as well. So it just moved up the knowledge generation. It moved up the proving of principle of brachytherapy as an excellent treatment, particularly in prostate cancer in Kelowna. But it's also the, uh, the same story of brachytherapy is being supported by the community. For the development of brachytherapy and breast cancer owes its progress to community support. So when that becomes standard of care for women across BC, it will have been on the shoulders of members of the community that made it happen. Had we not had the community support, we might have been another decade before it arrived. Thank you so much, Dr. Halperin, for talking to us today about brachytherapy. It's really exciting to hear how this form of treatment is changing outcomes for patients. My pleasure. You can learn more about how BC Cancer clinicians are changing cancer outcomes by visiting bccancerfoundation.com. Thanks so much for tuning in.